Thank you. Uh, my name is Savika. I'm a PhD researcher with the Environmental Communication Division. And when I meet people from around Estee from outside of my department and they ask me what I do here, I say illegal hunting, which means I discovered it means I can have to stop and correct myself and go, I mean, I do research on illegal hunting. It's not something I do on the campus grounds here where we do hunt. Having said that, I do come from a family with a very strong hunting background, which helps me a lot when I interview hunters of this topic, given how sensitive this is, as you can imagine. And that's why I brought out the big gun for this presentation in the form of uh, office clip art animation, taking you into the future right here. Now, I found early on that we have a pretty impressive number of words for illegal hunting in Swedish in a way that we don't in English, where it's just illegal hunting or poaching. But in Swedish, we have all these words like olaga jakt, olaga jakt, all these nuances. And I'm thinking if the Eskimo has 20 different words for snow because it's so ubiquitous, and it's potentially pretty worrying development here. I like illegal hunting, or I should say I like using the term illegal hunting, because poaching comes from an old English word, "pocken," which means to enclose in a bag, to take something. And not all hunting farms that I deal with involve this material harvesting. So take, for example, African pastoralists in a nature reservation that shoot a lion, and they don't harvest any material resources from it no trophy, but they leave the carcass on the side of the road for local game wardens to find. And these sorts of crimes have communicative implications and political dimensions. They are, in part, an expression of dissent. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, our focus is on why some hunters feel that current regulation no longer corresponds with their moral norms or cultural practices, but are instead just seen as an bureaucratic insufficiency from above, from the EU level, and from processes in which they have no voice. Now, wouldn't you say that when we people commit these crimes, and when a lot of people commit these crimes, and when people take the law into their own hands because they consider it to be so unjust and so illegitimate, we have a responsibility not to just categorically dismiss these as criminals and then move on, but actually to take a critical look at what we're getting wrong in the existing channels for participation and decision-making that's so alienating to hunters and that's causing them to turn away from the public to engage in the shoot, shovel, and shut-up practice, as we call it. And that's why we got $7 million for this project a few years ago by Forma, to really get to the bottom of the legitimacy crisis of Swedish wildlife management. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. So, the jury? Yes, thank you. This was also a nice presentation. You seem to be relaxed when you talk, and you talk very good English, and it's easy to, to understand. Uh, Maybe the slides were uh, on maybe a little bit too much text for the average Swedish person to get it, and, and, but uh, I think the message got through, so th that's the important thing. Yeah, once more, I, I agree with Anna. It's a little bit, a little bit too much text on the slides. Uh, Yeah, yeah, definitely. It felt like you, you really had done your, your like homework and you were prepared and you had rehearsed. I felt that you, you, you knew what you're talking about, like you did like 100 times. So that was very good. Yeah, I, I, my, my focus here, it felt like she was singing. You know, it was like a good flow that you had this in your mind, so that was very good. And uh, I also I like that you involved the audience with that kind of question that you said, uh, wouldn't you agree with this, or uh, you had some question out uh, that, that uh, captured it in a good way, so I said, very good. I can see that Magnus is doing his job, like, for 
mail box or whatever we should call it. Uh, are you ready with your phones? Okay, so please uh, vote for uh, Elizabeth Nelson. Now. Thank you. Uh, my name is on everything under control over there. Yep. Thank you.